Hi, my name is Cole Tinney and I'm from the Epic Online Learning Team, here with a tutorial on creating a box fight game mode. What is box fight? Well, I'm glad you asked. The name says it all. Box fight is a game mode where players are put in a box and they have to fight each other. This is a fun game mode that forces players into a smaller area to improve on their close quarters building and combat skills. During this tutorial, we'll be cutting over to slides like the one you see here. They will show you the properties on the devices that you'll need to change. If you don't see a property listed on the slide, keep those devices' properties at their defaults. While the slide will only be visible for a brief time, feel free to pause and take as long as you need to update the properties before moving on. Let's get started. First, we're going to make a new Blink project using the Island Template Blink setting. Go ahead and name it, then hit Create. Once you've got it loaded up, you'll notice we have our two player starts. Next, we need to create our building or box that we'll be fighting in. I'd recommend starting off with one that is three cells deep by five cells wide by three cells tall. So we'll have a basic standard box fight arena. Using the built-in Fortnite props and galleries, build the arena however you would like. If you go into the galleries folder and you search for floor, you'll find quite a few floor tiles that you can start with. When you drag them into your world, they may snap to the grids, which you may or may not want. Remember, in your world settings, you can go in and disable editor cell snap if you don't want that. To quickly duplicate and make tiles that are the same, you can hold your Alt key and drag along any of your axes, and it'll let you quickly duplicate those tiles in the direction you drag. Take the time you need to build your building, and when you're done, come right back and we'll continue on. Welcome back! While we were gone, I built my basic box, which we can see here. When we go inside, we can see we have a nice 3x5 arena. If you're having difficulties when you're inside your box, it may be because you don't have any lighting set up. Let's go up to the Add button and navigate to Lights, Point Light. Now we have some light in our world. We can drag the light wherever we want. I'll set up some lights. You can light up your basic box arena. You may need more or less lights or want to adjust them. Remember, in their properties, we have the intensity, which determines how bright it is, and the color itself may give a little bit more of an atmospheric setting. One thing that's also fun to play with is the attenuation setting. If you want a nice flat lighting, you could put maybe one single light in the middle, use a large attenuation radius, or maybe you just want little bits of the arena highlighted. You could go and lower it down. Once you finish setting up your lighting, come on back. And we're back. You can see I went for a nice flat lighting. One thing I'd recommend doing is organizing your project. We can see in the right, I've selected all the items that make up my box fight arena. Let's right click on them, move them, and then create a new folder. We can see it's now much more organized with all of my building in its own folder. We've got our player spawn set up. Let's go and move them to each of their perspective sides of the arena. Then in the player spawns properties, we want to make sure visible in game is unchecked for both of them. With that basic setup, let's go ahead and launch this and play test. Here we are inside of Fortnite and our basic setup is working. We have our two player starts and we have our basic arena. Now we need to set up the settings. We have access to our settings under my island inside of creative mode, or we can change the settings using the island setting device inside of UEFN. And I'll go and show you all the properties we want to change for our box fight game mode. Remember, when you're setting the properties, you have the search bar at the top, so you can search for the item you're looking for directly and easily find it. Once we finish changing our island settings, we can go create the barriers using barrier devices to stop our players from leaving at the beginning of our match. In my devices folder, I'm looking for barrier. We'll drag a barrier device in, we'll put one over one of the player spawn, and drag another barrier device and put one over the other player spawn. After we have them placed, we can make adjustments, so they are the same and ready for us to use. In UEFM, we can select multiple devices at the same time, and change their common properties. That means I can easily set up both of these just by changing the properties once. Now that the two barriers are set up, preventing our players from escaping when the round starts, let's go and set one up in the middle to prevent them from seeing what the other person might be doing before the round has started. Put another barrier device in the middle, we'll set it up as well. With our middle barrier set up, let's go and rename all three, that way it's easier to find them in the outliner. 
With our barrier set up, we can push the changes and check them out inside of Fortnite. We can see we are blocked by the barrier. We can't leave. This is good. Now let's set up removing the barrier once our map starts. Inside of UEFN, I will need a timed objective device. I will look for timed. We're still in the device folder, so that works out. I personally use the top of my box fight arena to place my items that aren't part of the actual match itself. Let's rename this. It's a good idea to rename your devices as you're starting them. This will be our start timer device. Now we need to set up its properties. With our device now set up, we need to make sure our barriers are going to drop when this device finishes its countdown timer. Let's find our barrier devices. Remember, we rename them. In the outliner, we can look for barrier. We can take advantage of using UEFN by selecting all three of our barriers going down to user option functions. Add a new element to our disable. When our timer, our start timer device is completed. Go ahead and push your changes and play test. We'll go ahead and hit start and we'll hopefully see a 10 second countdown and then we'll see our barriers drop. Our game has started up. We can see our message. We put on our timed object device that the barrier is dropping in one second. All of our barriers disappear. Now we can fight. We have nothing inside of our inventory. We have no equipment. We need to set up our class designer. That way we can actually have some starting equipment. Back inside of our UEFN in our devices folder, we're looking for the class designer. I'm just going to drag a new class designer onto my building. To start, we need to rename the class designer. You may notice in our outliner, it doesn't show our class designer. We still have our search here. Let's go and clear that. Let's rename our class designer to box fight class device and set up the properties. Our class designer determines which items we start with. So the first thing we'll actually want to do is set that up. So let's go into our items list. We will go ahead and have six items. Whoops, I've accidentally created seven. It's easy enough to delete an extra item. There's an arrow to the right on the item we want to remove. We can click on that. We can delete. Now we're back to having six items. You see it says six items, but they only go zero to five. It's because arrays start at zero and go up from there. Let's go and set these up for the items we want. For example, I want a pump shotgun, an assault rifle, and a few other various items. I noticed I made a mistake. First of all, I chose the wrong shotgun. I changed my items definition and can correct that. In addition, I have the shotgun set up as the first item and the assault rifle as the second. I actually want those flipped. Next to the index on the left of the row is a little set of dots. And your mouse cursor icon will change into a hand so you can drag and you can reorder where the items definitions go. I'll drag that up to the top. Now my list has the assault rifle as the first item and the shotgun as the second. I'll change the other properties on this device. We can finish setting it up. You may come across where I'm asking you to change something and it is disabled, or in this case, it says infinite ammo false, but you can't change that value. You have to enable the property by clicking on the checkbox to the left of it, and then you can change the value itself on the right. In this case, I want infinite resources, consumables, and ammo to all be false. I need to enable them on the left, and then I can change their properties on the right. With our class device set up, we can push our changes and play test again. Back inside our play session, I started the game. We now have some items equipped, our barrier counted down from our timer, and we're ready to start our match if we had another player. Last thing we want to do is set up our HUD controller device. That way we can set up our user interface to only show the correct information for this game mode. Back inside of the editor, we need to look for the HUD controller device. Again, we'll drag and drop one on top of our map and go in and just set up the properties for this device. Again, we'll push our changes, update our session, and play test to make sure our box fight mode is actually working correctly. We have all of our settings set up. Back inside of our experience, we can now see those HUD changes have been made. We don't have the mini map anymore. There's an elimination counter and the round timer is always running. With that, we have the basics of our box fight game mode. There are more resources available to you. 
You can find an entire written tutorial on the documentation site for recreating BoxFight along with all the settings and some additional options and ideas. You can also find a section on using the Verse programming language to do direct event binding rather than doing it inside of the editor itself. It's a great way to get started learning Verse. There are also creative tutorials by Epic Games where there are islands built for these different types of game modes, including BoxFight, where you can learn from a pre-built setup. This is the island that was copied into my personal setup, and then I just opened it up using the open option, and we can see an entire box fight map set up with instructions and extra options ready for you to start and take apart and learn from. This is a great way if you want to look at additional things you can do after you finished up this tutorial. And finally, we want to see all of the great things that you create in UEFN, so please share with us on social media. And don't forget to look for more great content on the Epic Developer Community.